everyone this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com and I just want to show you something today about how to use Tempvar it's kind of a practical application in the past I was using uh, parameters to uh, or forms to store parameters for my queries and uh, I want to show you how to use Tempvar I saw this cool little technique done and maybe you can maybe it'll prove helpful to you so here I have my form uh, if I select my login let's say login 6 I'm just gonna see uh, selections for number 6 so I'm setting the temp var with this open query and I seeing just uh, just results for number 6 Hopefully, maybe I can make this a bit bigger. Well, wow. supplier six, and then if I want to go ahead and close this and choose somebody else, so set open query. You probably can let the wheels, your wheels turn, and see where you can apply this. These are products for that, and you could use this as login uh, for certain builders of her certain uh, people um, this this is how it, how it works I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this so if I'm going into my database here this is basically all it is whenever I click the set button I'm setting um, dimensioning a variable here int login and lion to log in is taking the you could and uh, I'll get to this in a moment but basically what I'm doing is adding a temp var called login ID and I'm assigning the value of this lion to login if you decide you're gonna put this straight in uh, me dot CBO login straight in in this argument um, you're gonna have an error so I assigned it a variable first, assigned it to a variable like this. It's just an integer, it's real simple. And then uh assign that as a value to your temp var. Okay, so back here, let's see where I'm at. Um, go back to my form. Ah, of course. So if I go ahead and open this up, let's see what I'm doing. In this query here, uh, for my parameter, well, for my parameter here, I'm just using. If you look down here, I'm using var. It's like a session variable. So whenever I open up the application. It's like okay well that is my session variable and it knows what I'm using I can use temp vars login under my supplier ID and that's the only only criteria I have for this here query and I'm gonna close it out so again when I put these together 17 let's say I have to click set to set the set the temp var open query and I'm just seeing items with that belong to supplier 17 I'm gonna close this out and close the database bang and save yeah and anyway that that's about it uh, the database is called tempvars.accdb go ahead on out there to vbahow2.com I'm going to have the database, this particular data, database and go ahead and apply it, use this concept in your own situation I'm just showing as an example um, be able to apply it, leave a message or uh, subscribe and like if this video is helpful to you and if you have a idea for a future video or a question, leave it in the comments below and I will take it into consideration and make a, make a video for it. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great afternoon.